Now we're back in Denver. Uh, this is actually the day of? No, day after. We did not go to any breweries the day of Great American Beer Fest. <laughs> So we went to Black Sky Brewing. That's got a very rockish, uh, kind of heavy metal vibe. The yeah. guys, the the guy about the bartender, uh, one, of the, cool. one of the brewers, very very nice guy, very helpful in uh, giving us suggestions on other places to check out. Uh, I think we both picked out the DHMS Saison. Belgian Saison. That's all it says. So I don't know what it means, but maybe it's code for something. It's provocative. Weird. <laughs> okay. Nobody knows what it means. Um, then the next one was Great Divide. It was. Totally packed when we went there, and then this was the second day of Great American Beer Fest. It was a Friday. About 4.45, dead. Yeah, everybody Everyone left. Um, my favorite there was the Hazy IPA. Another IPA, imagine that. Uh, mine was a 4G Smash. I actually don't remember what it was, but it was a collaboration between Great Divide and Euclid Beer Hall, which is like just across the street from the convention center. I think it's that was an IPA. Two? It might have been, or some variant of They had of like four, four or five IPAs there that day. They were all good. All right, so next up is Jagged Mountain, and we have a live review from Jagged Mountain, so you should check that one out too. Um, my favorite there was the Rocky Mountain Chowder. Chow okay, it's not chowder, it's chowder. And that was, huh, you guessed it, another IPA. Uh, mine was Fetches Le Blonde, which was another Saison. Um, I've really been... I thought it was a beer de garde. Oh, beer de garde. Yeah, they're they're pretty similar, I suppose, but but not the same. I've just been digging the the beer de gardes and the saisons lately, so it's uh, it's been nice. And our last stop on Friday was Renegade Brewery. Um, my favorite was the Endpoint, which was a triple IPA. It was uh, quite hoppy, but yeah. that's the way I like it. Uh, I feel like I didn't give this place a fair shake. It was the end of the night. We had a lot of beer already that day. They had a lot of unique beers. In fact, one that I was very interested in trying before we got there called like pancakes or something like yeah. that. Um, and it was a little disappointing, but like I said, we had a lot of be beers that day. Maybe my palate was a little toast. Uh, but the one I actually ended up liking the most, or I thought it was the most well executed, was Juice is Loose, which I believe was like a New England style or hazy IPA also. Mm -hmm. Moving into Saturday, we started the day off at Wing Coop. Brewery. And we both agreed day. Nug Life IPA was the best one that they offered there. They had a lot of good ones, yeah, just like every other place has. I, I could probably pick up. They had a Rocky Mountain Oyster Stout that I really enjoyed also, so I'll, I'll toss that one out there. Um, they had a very interesting cucumber lime or cucumber salted goes that I... It was very interesting. That was memorable. I mean, I don't even have that one written down here, but I remember it, so that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, we went to Black Shirt which was super cool. Another like more rock metal theme going on there. <laughs> um, my favorite was the string bender. It was a Saison if I remember correctly. Good stuff. Uh, mine was Red Evelyn. That's like a special brew for them. That was uh, like a red IPA or a red pale ale or something like that. And then we went to Crooked Stave, which was a recommendation from Happier Days. Um, not my favorite place. A lot of their beers were sours, and I, I we like sours, but neither one of us are sour aficionados, which is, I feel like you have to be. They did have an IPA called Trellis Buster there that we tried, and that was our favorite there for both of us. So we walked over to Epic after this. Epic's got a lot of good stuff, I'm sure people are aware of it. They're based out of Utah, but they got a, a big, big tap room and brewery in, in Denver, just up from downtown. Um, both of us agreed on Son of a Baptist, and that is a coffee flavored uh, stout reporter, one of the two. I think it's a stout. So Big Bad Baptist is the one that a lot of people watching yeah. probably have heard of before. It's a barrel aged stout, uh, really good stuff. They've got a couple of vari varieties of that, but Son of the Baptist is, I love coffee, anything. So this is like, this room hit the spot. Good. Then we went to Ratio. Where um, Dan got this lovely headgear. And I'm probably gonna have to make sure I don't wear it in too many videos. Cause I don't actually wear hats a lot, but I like this one. Yeah, they were a really cool place. We really liked the atmosphere there. Um, this is another one where we shared a favorite, although I think you kind of had one that tied for Yeah, I had two that tied, but I could. I was on board with this one. Um, we had Roots Radical as our favorite, which was a Saison made with beets. If you watch our live review on that, it's very red. And yeah, so check out the live review to see what other beers we tried. That I felt day. a little bit like Dwight Schrute while I was drinking that one with the beet juice. And... Yeah, a little bit. 
Okay, next up was our mutual friend, which is a really small little Yeah, they had a nice outdoor patio. We didn't actually get to yeah. go out there, but I think that's probably why it seems so small on the inside is because they also have this outside. Yeah, there were a lot of people. So my favorite was Space Wheel, which I don't remember what it was. And mine was Brave Little Grisette. I did like that one. We, you don't get too many grisettes. No, it, it, if you haven't had one before, I would say it's a, like a lighter version of a Saison. It's probably not quite mm -hmm. as flavorful. I mean, someone probably can correct me if I misjudging that, but that's my, my interpretation of that. Uh, we met up with um, one of Dan's childhood friends, Kervin, and he took us to Station 26, which was awesome. Um, it's in an old like fire yeah. Building. It's definitely a cool ambiance. They got all the, the big bay doors open and the fermenters and the distillers are in the back. It's uh, it's pretty mm -hmm. neat. Yeah, my favorite there was, uh, you guessed it, it's another IPA called Strawberry Milkshake IPA. It was pretty good, although it didn't look like a strawberry milkshake. It was pretty hazy though. And after that we took a, a little break for dinner. Um, you didn't say what your favorite beer was. Oh, sorry. Uh, my favorite at Station 26 was the American Copper. It was a, a red it was really good, really smooth, kind of caramely, if I remember correctly. That's why, probably why I picked it out so much. I really like caramely, beer, caramely beers, too. I can't talk today. Yeah, uh. <laughs> All right, so then we went to Prost, which was awesome. Very German vibe. We like that, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, oh no, I'm not a big lager person, and that's pretty much all you're gonna get when you go to a German-themed kind of place. Now, uh, liquid bread, was an exception to that. They did a little bit of everything, but Prost was all about lager style drafts and brews. And don't discount lagers. They're delicious when they're done right. Yeah, so Marzins, Alts, uh, Dunkels, Box. Oh, mm -hmm. good stuff. And we agreed that uh, Alt, the, the Alt, Alt beer, beer they had on tap was the best one that they offered. It's really hard to find a good Alt beer in the United States, and this is about as close as I've found to having one at that's representative of one that you would get in Dusseldorf. Because you've been there. I have been there. Yeah. It's, they have good beer. We liked it so much that we actually got a crawler and brought it back with us. So hopefully we'll be digging into that sometime soon. Probably pretty soon. And then the last one we went to on our last day in Denver was Denver Beer Co. And so it was kind of funny. Our favorite beers are kind of reversed yeah. from what we usually like. My favorite was the Graham Cracker Porter, and if you've watched any of our videos before, you know Dan loves porters. I do. So, kind of weird that that was my favorite, not his. And then your favorite... Uh, Dank Me Later. Which was an IPA. Which I believe was even a hazy... Yeah, it was a hazy was IPA, like, too. And I liked it. I just liked the Graham Cracker Porter more. So then we're gonna, we're gonna track back a little bit to um, Great American Beer Fest, just to kind of wrap things up, because Great American Beer Fest was the focus for our trip, that's why we went, and it was amazing. We got to at least talk to a, probably a half dozen to a dozen different brewers or marketing people from those breweries, talk to a couple other. We met some great people while we were there. A couple of media contacts, some marketing people from uh, vendors. We'll be doing some uh, a new series called Beer Gear where we review some of the freebies we got and hopefully we can also start getting a few more of those uh, beer related type uh, objects to, uh, to test out and Maybe we'll find a, 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 a gem, a, a diamond Something in the rough. Something you need to make your beer experience even better. Yeah. So, my favorite from Great American Beer Fest was from Evil Genius, which I don't, I don't think we get here. Philadelphia. They're in Philadelphia. It's a big one in Philly. And they made a, what was it? What was the well, style? It was a Saison or Beer de Garde. Actually, I think it was a beer to guard. I, it's whatever the same, it's the same style as Domaine DuPage. Which I think is a beer to guard or okay. uh, French, Fel French Bel Belgian style farm ale. Farm there you ale. go. Anyway, it was called Wubba Lubba, Lubba Dub Dub. Yeah. I can't say that. I have to th really think about I it. I did really like that one. Uh, it was probably my favorite one there. Uh, just to, for the sake of variety, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that I also would recommend Singularity by Carl Strauss that's out of San Diego. Now I think we each probably had 50 to 60 somewhere different there. beers that day. I did not rank them all except for ones that were above and beyond what I thought were just even excellent. So I really only marked what I thought were the, the best of the best. I don't think we even got anything that placed. Some of the beers I got, I was like, oh, this place is for sure. But you also have to remember they have like 4,000 beers at Great American yeah. Beer Fest. And 
Yeah, we didn't even we touch... We didn't even get anywhere near the West Coast most of the Yeah, day. we got a couple of Pizza Port, Carl Strauss, uh, Russian Stone. River. Stone. Stone. But then all the other, like, upper Northwest ones, did, like Portland, uh, Idaho. Washington. Washington, we didn't even really get to touch. Uh, even San Francisco, even, like, Northern, Northern California, we didn't even get to touch them, so... No, not really. So, maybe next year. As well as even the ones, the remaining ones in Colorado that aren't in Denver, so, uh, you know, Boulder and... Fort Collins, Colorado Springs. We didn't get anything from those guys. We, at Great we, we ended up getting stuck on the East Coast. That's okay. We had some great stuff, yeah. but I think the the ones I remember, Evil Genius, I've heard about before, and I'm glad we got some of that. Adroit Theory, they're based out of somewhere in like Virginia. They were really solid. They had a. I think I liked everything I had from them. Mm -hmm. I think you tried everything they had. I know they all just sang to me, and I had to go try them. I think we're pretty much done. So, this is pretty long-winded. Uh, I don't know exactly how we're going to cut this up. This might end up being a two-part uh, yeah, two series. Or it might just be a long video and you just need to grab a snack. <laughs> like, grab a beer. Or two. Four. Eight. All right. <laughs> well, thanks guys for watching. Uh, stick around. Watch our, our next coming, coming up videos. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out my cool hat.